Hey, it's Les with another episode of Art Making. In this one, I'm doing some urban sketching of wonky vehicles. So I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about the kit. Um, I always talk about my kit a little bit, but I wanted to talk about the specifics of this one. So I'm working in a small four and three quarters by four and three quarters square um, Talon's Art Creations sketchbook. It's got nice smooth paper. It reminds me of Oak Tag. If you are of a certain age, you will know what Oak Tag is. It's the stuff that if you were in school in the 80s and 90s, um, your teachers used this. Uh, it was cheaper than cardstock. Usually had kind of a creamy off-white color and uh, a smooth surface for drawing on. It was terrible for crayons. Um, it was more expensive than construction paper, but whatever. Anyway, that's what this reminds me of. Um, I, so that is what the, my sketchbook is. I have it clipped to the top of my Everything Everywhere sketchbook, which is providing a good surface for sketching on. Um, and you can see the pouches that I have. So I have a couple of pouches. I talked about these in my um, gear video that I did, my traveling uh, or sketching outside um, gear video I just made. And in that pouch, I have a couple of fountain pens. I have a fountain pen with a Fude nib, which you just saw me using, filled with yellow ink. It's a dark yellow. Um, I have this fountain pen also with a Fude nib with brown ink. And then I've got a, another fountain pen with also a Fude nib with um, blue ink. I've got another one with a medium nib with magenta ink. And then finally, a, uh, another Fude nib pen with black ink. So I, I wanted to kind of work in process adjacent colors, but in this one, um, I want to do earthy tones and I've been itching to test out the kind of earthy yellow that I have with the brown to see how that worked. And uh, I think you can see the results. They're great. Um, that yellow and brown work really well together. And then with the deep, dark black on top, just really look really fantastic. Um, I'm really happy with the results of this particular experiment. Um, and so this, this Jeep um, just looked really great with that earthy uh, palette. Um, and you see on the right hand page, I have glued in an antique map. So um, I picked up some antique maps, antique, vintage, depends on what you want to call them. They're, they range from um, the 80s. Uh, I think some of them are even from the 70s. All right, um, let's talk more about the gear that I brought with me. Um, so I brought a selection of fountain pens with me. I brought a yellow, a blue, a magenta, um, a black ink, a brown ink, um, and then a couple of water brushes. And I also brought a watercolor set with me. Um, I brought the Royal Langnickel flip flop set. I did a review of this. Uh, it's a solid set. Um, but, um, I brought it because I didn't know if I was going to end up in the mall wa walking in the mall or if the, um, rain was going to hold out or if we would have, uh, bad weather while I was out. Um, the rain ended up not happening um, until significantly later. We got a little little shower later in the day. Um, but I did draw from inside the car because it was breezy again. We had a decent wind going on. So I drew from inside the car and um, that uh, worked well this time. So um, yeah, you can see the um, pens that I'm using. I'm using a lot of Fude nibs. Um, really enjoying the Fude nibs. This one is in particular dumping a ton of ink onto the page. That feed is very flooded um, and I'm enjoying the effect, but um, on other paper that could be a problem. This paper happens to be pretty darn thick and resistant to bleed through from my fountain pen ink. So um, yeah, I could have um, just thrown the uh, the selection of pens into my bag. Uh, I knew I was going to be carrying the sling bag with the cameras and also wearing a camera. Um, I'm wearing a um, GoPro calls it a chesty mount. Um, this is a little different mount. I'm not going to go in depth into that because that's not what this channel is about. 
Um, so yeah. So anyway, I'm wearing basically a GoPro chesty. Um, I'm still learning how to, how to mount it properly. And, um, it works pretty well when you have the image stabilization turned on, on your camera. I forgot to check that setting. And, um, so in the case of, of this, I could have just, like I said, tossed that neoprene pouch with the pens in it and my two sketchbooks. Um, and then the clips, I've got the sketchbook clipped to my larger sketchbook. And that's just acting as a drawing board, which I think is working actually pretty well. Um, I like having two sizes of sketchbook with me. Um, it just gives me some more options for sketching. So in the case of, of these, I decided to switch over to just using the black ink. I think I, think I was getting a little caught up in the minutia when I was doing... Um, multiple colors and I was just going over the same color again and again and again instead of like clarifying details um with my pen with the black ink um so it's just yeah getting in too in depth um so on the left hand side of this page there was a Ferrari parked in the parking lot of Staples um near this mall so um, I'd attempted to capture it, but a giant um, GMC Denali parked between me and it, and I couldn't even get the rest of the rear bumper in there. I'm not really a, a car person. I'm much more into the wonky Honda Fit that I drew on the right-hand side of the page. Um, and then this um, Mercedes Sprinter showed up, and it was just this giant block of shiny white. Um, and so I really felt like I had to capture that. Um, I really enjoyed how blocky and boxy and top heavy this thing looks. I'd be, for me, this would be a nightmare to drive. I would not want to drive this thing. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, so the, the minimal kit was really because I was going to be carrying around a bunch of cameras. Um, and I didn't know if I was going to be walking around in the mall or not. And if that would be a nightmare, um, with a huge amount of art supplies. So kept it really simple with a handful of pens. I really could have just done this with just a couple of pens and a, maybe a water brush and left the watercolors at home. Uh, so uh, talking a little bit about technique with those materials. So there are a couple of things that I could do with those materials. I could do like a contour line drawing like I'm doing. Um, I could do a contour line drawing with some overlapped, you know, water soluble ink with this waterproof ink on top and I could then um, add water brush or use some water to spread out that water soluble ink so that um, I um, get a faux ink wash technique on these pages and that's something I do pretty frequently uh, probably seen some of those um, images that I do that technique with and it works really really well um, so yeah, I'm just doing contour line drawing here and pretty happy with how it looks. And, uh, yeah, so this, this, I think it's a Chrysler, um, some, uh, giant, giant car. Um, anyway, with that, uh, thanks for being here. I hope, uh, you found this discussion of, uh, the gear I took with me to work in my sketchbook, drawing wonky cars, helpful. Um, what do you take with you um, as a minimal sort of setup? I kind of want to do a whole video on minimal art supplies uh, for sketching when you're on the go. Um, so with that, I'm just going to say thanks for being here and I will see you next time. Um, if you really enjoyed it, hit subscribe and the thumbs up that helps the alg algorithm help people find me. Um, so again, thanks and bye.